All right, here with John Lawler, head football coach at Alden Hebron Giants and president of the IEFA. Coach, um, here, just first of all, congrats on being here. Yeah. Uh, what has this ride been like for you guys this year? Well, first of all, thank you. Thank you for being one of the members and helping get this all off the ground because this is huge. This is, uh, it's been a great ride, gotten good people involved, and we're making history tonight, Nate, and thank, thank you for helping with that. Well, you bet. So for your school, you've been playing eight-man football for a couple of years. Yep. What got you guys going that direction, and how did you finally pull the trigger? We started playing, a lot of us in the NAC conference up north started playing eight-man with JV level just because we couldn't field full first off teams. And, and I started looking at that, and as we were going, I started realizing where our numbers were declining, and this might be a positive thing for not only us, but quite a few schools. So we decided to pull the trigger a couple years ago and, and uh, just take the chance and see if we get a few schools to come with, and they have, and there's, it, it's going to take off. Yeah, it's been great. It's been great. So tell me, what was the what was the difference between a season like last year without the IFA? This is something I don't have experience with, and now this year with the IFA, right. um, what's kind of been the difference, or what do you see the difference being in the future? Well, last year, I mean, I I'd, I'd reach out to people, and and uh, we'd set up some games with Wisconsin schools and everything else, um, and it was hard. It was hard getting games and getting organization and that's why I felt after the year it's like we have to do something you know and and I was getting a lot of calls I sent a survey out a couple years ago as you know as most schools know I was getting a lot of calls you know is this working for you we need some organization so that's when when you called me and, and Christian Life and I had talked it's like we need to do something we need to put a, an organization together to not only help with scheduling but to kind of you know some guidelines and and uh so it just didn't turn into club teams wanting to join and you know we needed that organization and so as you know that's when you kind of stepped in and we had some other schools jump on and it's it's been great you know so i would say the organization of it is the biggest thing now and, and uh, i think it, it kind of you know stabilizes it you know well this is the first year for an eight-man playoff in illinois yeah. What has that experience been like with your game last week in the semifinals, and now here you are playing right, for a title? Right. Well, you guys were part of it. I, I thought it was a great atmosphere. You know, here, and, and the bottom line is, what, what are we trying to accomplish here? We're just trying to give our kids a chance to keep playing football and experience that. That, that is the bottom line of all this. We're not trying to compete head-to-head -head with the IHSA or anything. We're just trying to keep our football programs alive and give our kids that chance. They work just as hard as the 11-man teams. Why, why can't we play football? Why don't we have playoffs? So here we are. Yeah, well, you play for a state title tonight yeah. against Milford Cisna Park. You've played them once before. Yeah. Uh, just a brief look into your game here tonight. What are some things that you know they do well that, that you guys are going to have to be ready <laughs> for? Well, they run the ball really well. At least they did against us last time. I mean, and they're fast. They're fast, so this turf will probably help them. Uh, so we're gonna, have, you know, we're gonna have to be more solid on defense, obviously, but uh, just well coached. I mean, well coached, good program, and and uh, solid across the board. They play real good defense too. They're very disciplined on defense. So we'll see. It'll be a challenge. There's no doubt. It'll be a challenge. They they put it to us pretty good earlier in the year. It was close for a half, and we kind of ran out of gas. Hopefully, we don't run out of gas tonight. You know, it's a little cooler, obviously, tonight. Yeah. So and. And we got a few kids back that weren't healthy the first time around, so hopefully it'll make a difference. Well, as we sign off here, any of those people that are fringe people looking at the I8FA going, could we get this done? Um, what would be some last words you might encourage somebody to, to look into it? Oh, man, just reach out to us and keep asking questions. And, and uh, myself or you, Bill Shepard from Christian Life, uh, we're open. You know, we're going to have a meeting in December early on. We weren't going to, but because there's so much interest, if you would like to attend that, reach out to one of us. We'll tell you when it is. We always meet at Ottawa Marquette Academy and uh, kind of central location for everybody. And we'd love to get more. You know, I know it's coming. I know some people are leery about pulling the trigger on it, but uh, it's been a great move, I think, for schools involved. So I think it's coming. We'll, we'll get more, and, and eventually, yes, eventually I hope that the IHSA takes it over and has the playoff, and then 
then our association can turn into a support and, and you know, coaching type thing to, to support eight man and keep promoting. Well, Coach, you uh, have had a great season, and it culminates tonight, so best of luck to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.